Hello and welcome back to Jugal Bandi the question challenge. I am Vishnu your host and moderator for this episode and a very very happy Deepavali to one and all who are watching this video on behalf of Tacom. On the third episode of Jugal Bandi we have Sneha Ranjan a marketing manager from Pune and Manas Deep an automotive product developer again based out of Pune. Both of them are active quizzes. The idea of Jugal Bandi is where both the guests send in a set of 10 random words to the host that is me in case of this episode and i choose a set of 3 words for each of the guests and then each guest has a task to select one single word from the three words which i allotted them and make a question around the word and also make sure that the word is a part of the answer so this process has been followed for today's episode both sneha and manas have sent in a set of 10 random words individually and i choose three words for each of them and sneha has chosen one word and made a question on it and manas has chosen another word and made a question on it let's see what manas has in store for us today manas the screen is yours yeah so my question has a bit of you know history and adventure quotient into it so what i need is there is a entry that goes like this since the 21st we've had a continuous gale from west southwest and southwest we had fuel to make two cups of tea a piece and bare food for two days on the 20th every day we have been ready to start for our depot 11 miles away but outside the door of the tent it remains the scene of whirling drift i do not think we can hope for any better things now we shall stick it out to the end but we are getting weaker of course and the end cannot be far so this is basically what i call an entry into something that happened around the best estimate that expert have experts have is around march the 29th of 1912 when the person concerned who made the entry within quotes uh, actually died so the story goes that this person and his team were actually in sight of a milestone uh, a a target an intended destination that they were looking to conquer but they reached 11 miles close only to find that another team a norwegian team had actually beat them to the target so my question has two parts well exactly as in which document would you find this entry in who is the person making this entry and who was the what was the destination targeted and who beat him to the destination Yes, okay. Sneha, I don't remember what people. are the words which I gave you, but yeah, <laughs> Sneha, this first. I frankly yeah, don't remember. Know, the audience can also uh, guess on through their comments. Yes. While uh, since uh, this is Norwegian team, uh, and uh, I, I think it has got something to do with conquering of one of the poles. uh and the two people and the two teams uh, being led by uh, Roald Amundsen and uh, Robert Scott uh, separately uh one of them reached it before than the other and then the other one was supposed to you know switch i think uh north pole and then instead go all the way to south pole uh Amundsen sounds like a norwegian name so uh, i guess uh, the norwegian team here would be amundsen and the other team would have been led, led by uh, scott i think it should be one of the poles uh, norway so it is closer to north pole so i think it's north pole and the first part of the question i think uh, now i remember the word which uh, sneha gave to you that is uh, diary i think it's diary so this looks like an entry into a personal diary or i don't know if ship has its own diary where uh, all the events are recorded so the first one should be diary and second one should be one of the poles and i don't know the person's name for sure you two would do brilliantly on a team together vishnu and sneha brilliantly worked out yeah so this is indeed an entry the last entry that robert scott made in diary uh, made it, uh, made in his diary the uh, the best estimate that experts have been able to put down on the date is 29th of march 1912 the thing is you know while uh, robert uh, uh, robert scott and his team started somewhere around november or january i have will have to recheck for the south pole not the north pole but when they reached 
just about trees 11 kilometers uh, to the south pole they uh, saw some conclusive evidence in the form of maybe some documentation left there some some signals left there by roald amundsen and his team that they had already conquered the south pole and uh, the return journey was was kind of the last journey that they ever made because robert scott and team you know they braved very rough weather but ultimately perished and their bodies were actually you know they were found uh, huddled together in frozen sleeping bags around 8 months after this somewhere around november or december of 1912 by a rescue team but uh, brilliantly worked out sneha and vishnu the word yeah. given was indeed me and i gave it my own kind of twist a brilliant question on a small word diary you went from diary to diary to everywhere south pole north pole and whatever <laughs> Yeah, and we saw the question from Manas. Let's see what uh, Sneha has in store for us. Uh, Sneha, this is your question. Okay, so I, I would suggest that uh, viewers and uh, uh, Manas and Vicky, you focus on the first part. Although the why was originally conceptualized in New Zealand, the first uh, the first country where this game show was aired was uh, United States. The American version was hosted by former tennis champion John McEnroe, and it aired on ABC. McEnroe also uh, hosted this uh, the British version of this show. I think it was on BBC One. Now, now the game show was unique. You know, uh, the contestants' heart rate was continuously measured throughout the game and compared to a red line threshold and formed the basis of the score. While they were shown questions on the screen. Again, a slightly lesser known movie. by the same name uh came out in the year 2007 it was a horror film directed by Greg Sullivan uh and the why is a song written by Han Cochran and uh, Dean Dillon and recorded by American country music artist George Strait released in 1985 now basically why is a very very common thing object and that is the reason why you have all these uh, versions of the why Okay, Manas, this is one of the words which you gave. I don't remember what. I think you 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 take a guess. I'll build on it. Yeah, even I am not able to get, remember everything, but I did give a word clock. And since the question talks about you know adrenaline rush and heart rate being measured, so does it have say something to do with uh, against the clock or 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 the time is ticking or something like that, Sneha? uh no so let me again give you another hint uh it's something that uh, we as quizzers encounter on quiz shows and if i were to follow specific things uh, you know we see this uh, in mastermind uh and we see this in kbc as well or who want to be a millionaire okay then i think this is in a hot seat but i don't remember it as a word given by manas a hot seat hot seat ah. is something which we I, I think I I got it Vishnu. Okay. So uh, these events like Mastermind or KBC, they are associated as you said directly with the hot seat. But the best I know of is the black chair in Mastermind. Oh. So perhaps this has to do something with uh, maybe a chair, Sneha. I don't know. Is why why is why does why have something to do with the word chair being in the name of the show? Yes, you're right. Uh, the name of the show. Is the chair, and uh, it was posted. Nice. John Kenro. It had a very different format, something that I hadn't uh, at least heard of earlier. And uh, you know, while while uh, the contestants were shown questions, they were also shown uh, uh, some other visuals, um, kind of their heart rate being monitored all the time, and their heart rate formed the baseline for their scores. So I, I would definitely suggest that you know you could uh, look for one of the YouTube videos to find out how this uh, uh, game show works. And of course, the lesser-known movie, The Chair, uh, you might not have heard because it's 4.9 on IMDb. But yeah, chair is the common thing, and uh, there is a so many questions which can be spun on the chair. If this word was given to me, I was thinking about making a question on. Uh, I saw in some documentary that chair is one of the most difficult thing, most difficult but the simplest thing to design. Like the design of chair needs a lot of thinking to make sure we are. It's a unique thing and it's comfortable and it doesn't break on weight and everything. 
Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, when, when I was uh, researching uh, on this particular object or uh, thing, uh, you know, I came across interesting facts like how IS, there are ISO standards to designing a chair and uh, how there are uh, you know, these Scandinavian designer chairs uh, and uh, how there is uh, uh, there are art installations uh, around chairs. So, pretty, uh, pretty interesting trivia around chairs. Okay. Yeah. So, we have seen the questions by Sneha and Manas on the words given to each other. Now, let's see how different people come up with different stories or questions or trivia on the same topic. So, I gave a common word for both Sneha and Manas and asked them to come up with two different questions on it. The word is Mohrat Trady. This is not just a task for the guests but also the viewers watching this video right now. Why don't you post your questions, your own versions of questions on Mohrat Trading? in the comment section below you can find the comment section below if you're watching this live right now you can post in the live chat or if you're watching this video later you can you can post your comments in the comment section below so let's see what sneha has in store for us on the common word more trading sneha the screen is yours again you can go ahead with your question so what you see here is uh, a chopada pujan where a certain community worships their ledgers and books on this day what has this inspired as a practice that was started by BSC 1957 and NSC in uh, 1992. This is a very scheduled activity. Okay, so we all know the answer. It's of course Murat trading. And uh, viewers who don't know that, who don't know about uh, Sneha and Manas, they're both shooting from the same house. They are uh, wife and husband. Uh, okay. Uh, the next question on the same word by Manas. Manas, this is your question. Yeah, so I went, you know, I knew that Sneha would bring something to us in the form of history of the uh, the Murat trading. So I just went by the actual activity as it happens. And I had in, put in my question the names of the two institutions that uh, are normally closed for business activities on this day, but only open for a limited period in order to make use of the auspicious occasion within quotes. The sequence of events, basically, which through which Murat trading happens involves block deal. A uh, block deal. Uh, there's a pre-open session. There's a normal market session. There's a call option session, and there's a closing session. So I had essentially framed the question in, you know, more of a process uh, like way on how the thing goes. And of course, we know the answer. Yeah, and I think it's not just two institutions. MCX is also doing the allowing the Murat trading this time. I don't know whether whether it's a first time or second time, but. Uh, morning, I read the news that MCX is also doing it. Uh, okay, and that's that's correct. That's news to me. Yeah, yeah. So we saw how Sneha and Manas have come up with the two different variations of the question on the same topic. That is more trading. Now I have a bonus question to all uh, to both Sneha and Manas and all the participants here. So this is a question. The question reads as. The two popular versions are the result of a struggle between Indo-Scythian general Sastana with Gandharva Sena of Ujjain and his son. It spanned over two decades from 78 to 57 before Common Era. While the Indian constitution adopted the modified Indo-Scythian version, most Indian business people follow the later. That is something started by the son of Gandharva Sena. So what are these and where do we find the mention of the later version today? Yeah. Is it something to do with Sambat? Okay, uh, what are those two versions? Just somewhat, uh, I'm talking about two versions here. What are the two versions? And, so the seven, and why is it important PC. today? Yeah, yeah go on. The 78 PC clearly points towards uh, the Perhaps the Shaka Samvat is what I remember, or the Saka Samvat, as some would call it. Okay. And mm -hmm. the other one, which is named after the son of Gandharva Sena? Son of Gandharva Sena? Mm -hmm. is, is this Achha? Since we are talking of Ujjain, this, this should perhaps be Vikramaditya, right? And yes. are we talk, talking about Vikram Samvat? Yes, yes, yes. So before going to the answer slide, I'd like to tell all the viewers about Atulia Wanijaya, a business quiz by Tacon, which is being hosted on 22nd November next Sunday by me, Vishnu and Vikyat, a former national champion of Tata Crucible. 
from Singapore. You have a link for participating in this quiz in the description below. You can go there and register yourself. Now the answer for the bonus question is Shaka and Vikram Samvat calendars. So these are the two calendars which uh, most of the Hindus follow in India and also in all the countries uh, which are culturally impacted by India, whether you say it is Nepal, Bali, Indonesia, uh, all the Southeast Asian nations you can see. And the Saka calendar is selected as the national calendar of India by the constitution. All the Gazette of India notifications will have two, do two dates, one according to the Gregorian calendar and the second one according to the Saka calendar. Today's Mora trading is executed to mark the beginning of Vikram Samvat 2077. So Vikram Samvat which is being followed by the trading community, most of the trading community people in India is uh, almost 52 years, uh, 57 years ahead of the Gregorian calendar and uh, Saka calendar is also some decades ahead of the Gregorian calendar. And that's it, this is the end of episode 3. Thank you Manas, thank you Sneha for accepting my invitation and being part of the episode 3. See you, see you all in the next episode. Wish you all a prosperous here ahead. Happy Deepavali and happy trading. The more trading is going to start in next 5 minutes at 6.15 pm. So happy trading. Like, share and subscribe this channel. See you all in the next episode of Jigalbarni.